Hello, wonderful people. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Zik TV. Here at Zik TV, we report political news. With that in mind, I present to you the trending headline you need to hear today. The marriage of the North and South is forever till death do us apart. The marriage of the North and South is forever till death do us apart. Okay, this particular headline is coming from Belo Shagare, the grandson of the former president of Nigeria, Alaji Shegu Shagare. Okay, before we get into the details of this trending headline, if you're here to subscribe to this wonderful channel, please do me a favor by clicking that red subscribe button. Thank you. Okay. The grandson of former president of Nigeria, Alaji Shegu Shagare, has told Nigerians that those thinking about breaking up Nigeria are wasting their time. He speaks, Anyone who is calling for breakup in Nigeria is unjust to those whose lives we are lost in the civil war, those who fought in it, those who collectively fought against imperialism, those who have intermarried across Nigeria and settled in other areas. It is a selfish call. If you claim Nigeria is not working because of our union, then you are one of the causes for believing it, living it, and even advocating it. Do you think if we are to separate, it will just happen like that? How does Sudan look like? Stronger or weaker? The marriage between the North and the South is forever. This is the final truth. Okay, guys. Belo Shagare, the grandson of Alaji Shegu Shagare, is at it again. And this time, he is talking about the marriage between the North and the South. Okay, before we go on to check out the response of people, because this particular thing he said, he is being, he is being bashed by different people. People are now attacking him, calling him all sorts of things because of what he said. In as much as it is his own, his own opinion, but I don't think he is being realistic with what is happening in Nigeria. Now, before we get to check out what people said, I want to air my own opinion. Yes, um, Belo Shagari said that the marriage between the North and South is forever. Now, I'm like asking, most of the marriages that we see, are there not between a man and a woman that agreed together to come in union and become husband and wife? But this case of North and South, I think it is a first marriage between the North and the South. You know, they were forced to come together by the Britain. It is simple truth. What Britain, what they did that they brought up people with different origin, with different culture, with different ideologies, with different thinking, and they brought them together and formed the country. They never thought about the aftermath of this union. They brought different people that think differently, that worship differently, that eat differently, that do things differently, in total contrast with each other, and they force them to become husband and wife. And, she, and Belo Shagari is now saying that no matter what you think, that this marriage is final. And there is nothing anybody can do about it. Okay, this is what he said. But I know that in many marriages, in many failed marriages, there is always a way out, which is divorce. So there is no marriage on earth that is, uh, that is uh, forever. Either that death will do them apart or they will divorce. Is, if marriage is not working out between you and your husband, either the husband divorces the wife or the wife divorces the husband. It's very, it's very simple. So I see no reason why Belo Shagari is saying that this marriage will continue to eternity. That is his own opinion. Maybe his people are gaining so much from the marriage that he is now thinking that the marriage will last forever. Understand? He even went on to say that if you are one of those advocating for the breakup of Nigeria because Nigeria is not working out because of the union, definitely you are the cause. Why? 
if the marriage is not working out, I think uh, the two parties involved in the marriage should come together, discuss it, and check out the best way to make the marriage become stronger. But in the case of the North and South, nothing has been done. People have been clamoring for restructure. Even the time of good luck, I believe there was a conference that about this restructuring. Nothing was nothing nothing got done. If you want a marriage to last forever, you have to hear the opinion of everybody involved in that marriage. You try to please everybody involved in the marriage, not just pleasing yourself and also crumbling that the marriage will last forever. It can't. If you want a marriage to last forever, the two parties involved in the marriage must be happy. One won't be happy and one won't be sad and you expect the marriage to work stronger. Sorry, Bero Shagari, it doesn't work that way. It's so simple. Understand? It's so simple. Okay, let us quickly check the reaction of people. Believe you me, people are reacting seriously to this headline. People are saying all sorts of things to Bero Shagari. Okay, let's check out what this person said. Someone said, listen carefully. My son... Stop deceiving yourself from the Fulani hijackers of the leadership of Nigeria. I was born during the independence and I witnessed the Nigeria genocide on the Igbos. You call civil war. It is nothing like civil war, but genocide. Nigeria is founded on a faulty, on a faulty foundation and will remain fraudulent till secession. You are talking in this manner because you are the beneficiary of the fraudulent marriage. My son, can you remember your score in JAM before you entered university? If at all, you studied in Nigeria. Have any person from your zone scored up to 250 in the JAM? The North is the educationally disadvantaged zone, but today, you have claimed all nations leadership apparatus with your evil mindedness of backwards. So we the southerners can no longer be suffering and smiling at your people on pity. This marriage of sympathy have come to an end. Therefore, we seek for divorce because nothing lasts forever. There is freedom of association. We are okay for help we have rendered to your generations before you. Please, my son, Mind your words before you die for it. Okay? This is coming from an elderly man who is, who is already telling Belo Shagari what I recently said. That the reason why he's saying this thing is simply because his people and the, his people are the beneficiaries of this marriage. The marriage is not working, but they are the beneficiary. This is why he's saying it. I don't think he's, he's open to reality. Understand? Even if you don't want the breakup of Nigeria, at least make sure, make sure that everybody involved in that marriage is happy. Not maybe the husband being happy and the wife is unhappy, or the wife being happy and the husband is unhappy. What Bero Shagari should have done is to make sure, is to carry out a movement that makes sure that everybody involved in this marriage of Nigeria is happy, not just one group of people. Okay? Someone said, Even slave trading was stopped. The two world wars ended. Colonialism ended. Appetite dismantled. Many more marriages that are not compatible dissolved. North and South Korea separated. Sudan and South Sudan separated. India and Pakistan separated. If the unitary system that is guising as half federalism is working, the component, especially the Southerners, would not be agitating for breaking. It's just because if anyone engaged in this vexure and is not benefiting, he tends to withdraw. We are all free men. Even slaves can fight for their freedom. This is so true. This is so true. If a marriage is not working out, it has to end. Or you make sure that the marriage works out. I remember, um, I remember in the good old days, if a marriage is not working out for a husband and wife, they will go and see their parish priest. The parish priest will see the husband and 
husband and wife now they will invite some elderly men they will discuss things and work out marriages for them this is what the the reconstruct the restructuring conference in 2014 was all about to restructure to find a way to work it out but they didn't implement it that is simple if you want the marriage to work out you restructure or divide the country and everybody leaves it's so simple you don't want to restructure you don't want secession and you're forcing everything on a particular group of people if the marriage has been working out if people are happy you won't see agitators from the south it's simple the south don't even care much about power but the reason why they are stating is because of lack of infrastructural development, lack of manpower, lack of funds, lack of everything that makes up a good society. This is why the North, the South are agitating. Okay. Someone said, lazy people who cannot contribute anything good in a country that, that they call ours just to squander our wealth and rather their children in abject poverty. No good education for their people. They deceive them with Arabic education. Okay, this is from a very consigned Nigerian. Okay, people are reacting. People are very angry, very furious with what Belo Chagari said. People are saying that he is not open to reality. People are saying that he is just one of the beneficiaries of this false marriage. People are saying, if a marriage is not working out, you sit down together and discuss it. And this is what Nigerians try to do with restructure, but they never wanted it. If you don't want to, if you don't want to sit down and talk about marriage, if you don't want to settle differences, definitely you divorce. And this is what the IPOB, the Biafrans, the Duduwas, the Nam, the Canals, the everybody involved are calling for divorce restructure or divorce this is the way out restructure and let the country go on without any centralized power or divide the country these are this is now the main opinions people are saying nothing else the nigeria is not working it's so simple we have to restructure or divide so that people can be happy so with that in mind I would love to hear your own opinions, my intelligent listeners. You guys are so intelligent. I would love to hear your opinions. Whatever opinions you have, even if you are for Belu Shagari, even if you are supporting One Nigeria, go down to the comment section and put it down. If you are supporting Restructure, go down and put it down. If you are equally su supporting the breaking up of Nigeria, feel free. We are all free men. Put them down at the comment section. Thank you once again. Have a wonderful day. God bless you all. Bye.